Today, we're at Southern Manufacturing and I'm on the Lang Technic UK stand with Danny Brook. And we're gonna look through some of Lang's work holding solutions. So, Danny, where are we gonna go first? Uh, so we'll come and have a look at our pyramids first, I think, Tom. Yeah, so, um, you know, we're trying to bring all of our newest products to the uh, to Southern Manufacturing this time round. Um, and definitely these pyramids are a really fast-growing product for, for us. Uh, you know, you're getting three parts out of um, your five-axis machine, whereas normally you'd be just loading one. Uh, we do them at varying different angles so that you can access every face um, on your five-axis machine. So if you, even if you want to get a face mill across this uh, bottom face, you're able to do that with our system. That must make it a lot easier for people on production runs as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're saving time in your tool changes because let's say you're drilling a feature, you can do it on all three before you then change to the next tool. So you're not just saving the time by getting three parts uh, finished out the door. You're obviously saving all that tool changing time as well. Now, obviously you said this has become quite a big seller at the moment because there's a lot more people going the five axis route. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think people who want a bit of an introduction into automation, this is a perfect way to start because you're getting uh, you know, more parts every time you're closing that door. Also, we're finding that people with uh, pallet machines, if they've got a 10 pallet loader, they can turn that into a 30 pallet loader with one of these or, or you know, 10 of these. So, um, so, yeah, it's been a very, very good seller for us and a good product to have. Now, what else do we have on this first booth? So we've all, if you uh, want to go a bit further down the automation route, we obviously do our own Robotrex system. Um, and this Night King vice is a, a lower cost vice to actually bring down uh, the price of our Robotrex automation system. Um, we're also showing on this our brand new contour jaws. These are soft jaws, which you can just snap on and off using magnets onto our uh, existing macro grip jaws. So really fast changeovers with that. They just locate using the stamped form and then magnets retain them onto the face of the jaw. That much make, so we've talked about production runs, but for your like, job shop one-offs as well, that much make it so much easier and so much quicker to change parts over. Uh, definitely. I mean, if you're, uh, you know, the idea of our system is you get as much done as you can in your first operation, clamping on three mil, using the stamping, and then in the second op, you're just taking the back off, maybe doing a few features. So if you're having to change over to soft jaws regularly, this is a really good solution because it's so quick. Now, this is the first booth. We've got another three to go. Yeah. So what we're we doing on this booth? So these are two, again, brand new products. Uh, these are our modular zero point plates. So if you've got a very large machine tool that you want to cover the bed, it might be a, a VMC, for instance, with a large machine bed, you can add these plates uh, using connection rods and you just do up one lead screw and it can do up, up to five uh, plates in, in with one lead screw. So um, it's just taking our, our zero point technology um, you know, a bit further and, and adding it onto newer machines. We've also got these combination plates now. So obviously our world famous 96 and 52 <laughs> stud pattern, which was invented by Lang. Uh, we now have all of that combined in a single plate. So you can change from a, a vice with 96 studs to a vice with 52, you know, all in one piece of equipment. So really that must make the Lang work holding as a whole a bit more che uh, cheaper as well, because you only have to buy one plate but you can put all different size vices onto that one plate. Yeah, so every vice we do uh, pretty much will fit onto this uh, plate, apart from our, the ultra vices, which we'll get onto. Um, but I mean, sometimes, you know, we do still sell a lot of the reducer plates, because particularly on a five axis, if, you, if you're used to having a vice, say, this size, and you're looking to then put a smaller vice on, you're often doing smaller parts, and you need that further away from the table for, for spindle clearance and stuff. So. You know, there's definitely still a, a place for reducer plates, but uh, uh, this just uh, gives people flexibility to clamp whatever they uh, whatever they want onto that. So uh, yeah. To be fair, it's just it's just another plate to help the market on what they want to do. It's giving people the option of how they want to run their own machine. It, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. So we've we've booth two done, and as yeah. you can see, that is a a really really nice looking part. But if we move down again, now. There's something on here I'm really intrigued about, and it's the Halbeck system, because this is a, I say a Lang first, but this is a work holding first, if yeah. I'm not wrong, from you guys. So how does this system work? 
So uh, this is designed to turn your tool changer into an automation system. So lots of companies out there are looking to move into automation. And obviously, you know, buying a robot or a pallet loader is a very large capital investment. Uh, with this, you can add these, you know, with the vices and the hoods into your tool changer. You can put this onto the bed of your machine. Um, all of the clamping of the vice is done via your spindle. So effectively, you could have this delivered next day and up and running within about two hours. And what I like about this system is there's no, no hydraulics, no air. It's, it literally just all works off your tool change orientation. It, exactly. And, and actually, every automation system that we do is geared around that. So even with our Robotrex systems, you don't need any services to the machine table. So if you're looking to retrofit an old machine with automation, we are definitely the company to come and talk to. Now, we've seen some of your vices a bit earlier on, but this looks a bit more heavy duty, <laughs> as, as one way to say it. So, what sort of vice is this? So this is our Macro Grip Ultra. So this, uh, whereas the, the standard Macro Grip vices, you can get up to 355 millimeters between the jaws. This is a modular system that works on the zero point and allows you to clamp up to 810 millimeters between the jaws. So it works on the same three mil uh, clamping depth. So if you've got very large plate work, you're using that low force clamping with the stamping technology, um, but you're just taking it to much bigger machines. So it just, to me, this system can really help people who sometimes do small parts, sometimes do large parts. They can get the best of all their work holding just using one vice. It, exactly that. And also, if they, you know, you can buy this vice, for instance, is 410 millimeters between the jaws. So you can buy that. And then if you then have a part that comes in that's 800 millimeters, you can just buy another two vice bodies, a longer spindle, and away you go. You don't have to buy a whole other piece of equipment to actually achieve that. Um, it's all modular and just slots together in the zero point. It's sort of like a Lego set. You can just keep <laughs> adding and adding and adding. Lego for engineers. Well, yeah, that's absolutely, the way. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's move on to the very last table, and I'll try not to break the stand <laughs> on my way through. Uh, so what have we got? On here. So, so this, I mean, with, these are uh, our macro foregrip jaws. So they're jaws uh, to, to clamp uh, round material. Um, but really what we're showing on this stand is that with a single vice body, we have a huge amount of jaw options, whether it be soft jaws, whether it be a fixed jaw in the center, whether you're holding round, whether you're holding prismatic stuff. You know, we, we can hold all of that just with one vice body. So, you know, when you invest in our system, uh, you, you know, you're investing in uh, the future of your company because you're able to clamp anything that you want moving forward. You're not just buying work holdings, clamp one thing. You can you're clamping an array of things using one system. It, exactly that. Now, yeah. I'm liking the colour. Yeah. It's it's not the Lang Blue, but so. <laughs> What do I actually have in my hand? So that is a Cleantech Swarf fan. So uh, we were actually the inventors of this. So Mr. Lang was the inventor of the Swarf fan. Uh, we've been selling this for, I don't know, 13, 15 years, something like that. So this is designed to go in, a, in your tool changer um, and clean off, clean and dry the machining area with the doors closed um, so that you know your operators aren't having to stand there with an air gun and get covered in Swarf and coolant. And one of the things I like about these, and I have picked the stumpy one up out of the three, I don't know why, but because these are on springs, which if I'm right, you were the, the guys to invent the spring as well, yeah, yeah. is because it closes back up, it fits nicely into your tool, into your tool changer yeah. with no problems of collision of tools either side. So how this works is as your spindle speeds up, the centrifugal force opens the blades which then, as a fan, just blows all the swarf, all the coolant, anything off your table. So it's a great way to keep your operators safe and clean because there's nothing worse than a bit of swarf in your finger. Yeah. So, so we've got, we got three different sizes of these as well, and the blades actually fit onto um, every one. So if you've got, let's say, a deep pocket that you want to clean the swarf out before a finishing operation, you could bring in the small fan and then, you know, later on, if you've got a job that requires a large one, rather than buying a whole new fan, you can just buy a blade kit and attach that to the, to the base. They're all common. So if anyone's seen a work holding solution on your stand they'd like to know more about, how would they get in contact with you? 
Um, so the best place to go is www.lang-technic.co.uk. Uh, go on there, all of our contact details are on there and also all the guys that cover your particular sales area. So at least, and their mobile numbers are on there so you can give us a call straight up. So if there is anything you've seen on the Lang stand, Danny's just said their website address and you can find any information and all the contact numbers you'll need.